So you are currently taking or considering taking Cialis or Tadalafil, as it is known by its generic name, and you have some unanswered questions or you have some concerns. Can I take it with alcohol? What are the potential side effects? Does it cause addiction or dependence? Well, hang tight, because in this video, I'm going to answer all those questions and more. My name is Kweku, I am a pharmacist, and as in all my other videos, this one is also for informational purposes only, so please do not start, stop, or change any of your medication regimens without first talking to your doctor. So what is Cialis or Tadalafil? Well, Tadalafil is a medication that is approved primarily for the treatment of erectile dysfunction, a BPH or benign prostatic hyperplasia, which is basically enlargement of the prostate, or another condition called pulmonary arterial hypertension, which is a type of blood pressure that is associated with the arteries of the lungs and the heart. For the purposes of this video though, I'll be focusing on the, the use of Cialis or Tadalafil in the management of erectile dysfunction, ED, which is loosely defined as the inability to get or maintain an erection long enough for sexual activity. So how should you take Cialis or Tadalafil for ED? Well, Cialis comes as a tablet which may be taken without regard to food. That means that it can be taken before or after food. It can be taken in two ways, either on an as-needed basis or an on-demand basis, or a tablet that you take regularly every day, same time of the day. So what is the typical dose? Well, if you are taking it on a daily basis, then the typical starting dose may be 2.5 milligrams taken at the same time every day. It may be increased to 5 milligrams depending on how you tolerate it and depending on its efficacy. The idea is that you can uh, engage in sexual activity anytime in between the doses. If you are taking it on a nice needed basis, then 10 milligrams usually tends to be the most common dose. This can be taken about 30 minutes or so prior to the intended sexual activity. Now know that for some people, 30 minutes may not be enough because Cialis takes some time to kick in for some people. So to be on the safe side, give yourself about one to two hours prior to the anticipated sexual activity. In other words, take it about one or two hours before need. Now, this 10 milligrams may be bumped up to 20 milligrams as needed, or it may be decreased to 5 milligrams as needed based on your response and based on how you tolerate it. So what are some of the potential side effects? Well, with respect to side effects, I'm going to divide them into two categories. The first category is those ones that tend to be prob problematic or tend to be serious, the ones that you really need to be calling your doctor about. Those ones tend to be rare, but those ones tend to be the most serious ones. The first on that list is changes in vision. This could be manifested as, as a sudden loss in the vis in vision, or it could be blurred vision, or for some people, maybe perception in color. For some people, they will see a blue tint to everything. They see everything tends to be blue. Or for some people, they cannot tell the difference between blue and green. If you experience any of these visual ch vision changes, definitely a good idea to discuss that with your doctor. For some people, it may be a sudden loss in hearing. If for some people, it may be tinnitus or ringing in the ears. And for some people, it may be dizziness or chest pain. Another side effect worth paying attention to is a condition called priapism, which is a situation where you have an erection lasting more than four hours. Now, not only can this be painful, but if left untreated, it can actually be damaging to the penis. So anytime you experience an erection lasting more than four hours, please do well to seek medical help immediately. Other potentially serious side effects include a rash, if you experience any kind of hives, if there's any difficulty breathing, or if there's any blistering or peeling of the skin. All these are relatively serious and those are the ones that demand medical attention immediately. Now with that out of the way, let's talk about some of the other side effects which tend to be uh, not so serious, they just tend to be bothersome and you may not need to call your doctor about those. Of course, if it persists or if it's bothersome for a period of time, then yes, definitely let your doctor know. But these include headache, nausea, indigestion or heartburn, flushing, stomach or abdominal ache, and for some people even coughing. Well, these ones tend to be minor, they, seem, they just go away after just a few doses, but if they persist or if they remain bothersome, please discuss with your doctor. Now let's talk about some of those frequently asked questions about Cialis or Tadalafil. One of the most common ones is that, can I take it with alcohol? Well, while there is no, not an absolute contraindication, it, what that means is that taking just about a glass of wine with Cialis may not necessarily pose any problems. Excessive alcohol intake with Cialis can result in problems. And the key problem here is that it may result in what is called autostatic hypotension. This is a situation where your blood pressure drops too low 
to levels where for some people it may cause dizziness or even fainting. Definitely don't combine excessive amounts of alcohol with Cialis. Also bear in mind that alcohol itself may be counterproductive when it comes to managing cases of ED because alcohol itself can cause ED in some people. So if you're taking large amounts of alcohol when you already have ED, that is counterproductive. Another question that is quite common is can I become dependent or the Cialis cause addiction? In other words, once I start taking Cialis, can I, do I always have to take Cialis? Well, the answer is that Cialis does not work on some of the pleasure centers in the brain like maybe opioids like maybe a hydrocodone or some illicit drugs do so the chances of physical dependence is minimal however that does not include the possibility or the potential for people to develop what is called psychological dependence where your mind thinks that you always need cialis in order to be able to perform now this is more likely to occur in people who quote unquote abuse Cialis, in which case they don't have ED, but they take Cialis anyway. Those people are more likely to suffer psychological dependence on Cialis or Tadalafil. Another question is how long does Cialis last? Well, Cialis lasts on the average about 36 hours. So it's possible to have uh, multiple erections within those 36 hour periods. It doesn't mean that you're gonna have an erection for 36 hours, oh, God forbid. But it means that within that 36 hours, you have enough of the medication in your system for it to be effective for it to give you erections. Don't forget also to alert your doctor about any other medications that you take because Cialis has been known to interact with some medications leading to a very dangerous drop in blood pressures. Typical and classic example is medications we call nitrates, which are taken for chest pain. Now, if you are trying to decide between Cialis and Viagra, which is one of the most common questions that I do get, I've made that decision a little easier by reviewing Viagra also, so you can see a video on your screen. I'm also doing a head-to-head -head comparison between Cialis and Viagra, which I'm gonna post in the description below. So take a look at it, and I hope that would inform your decision as to which one is best for your situation. Thank you very much for staying through. Catch you on the next video. Stay blessed.